Hello again guys and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Tadej. Hello, my name is Taylor. And today we'll be discussing the differences between, um, we have here the fixed mounts, detachable mounts and repeat, repeatable detachable mounts. Taylor, would you kindly elaborate uh, on the basic differences of these three types of mounts? Well, basically if a mount is a fixed or detachable or repeatable, this is a feature of a mount. Uh, and it means if it's a fixed mount, it means that you need tools to mount it uh, on the rifle. You always need tools to mount it, uh, to tighten the, the rings around the scope tube or to tighten the inlets on the rail mounting. But we are talking about the connection between the mount and the rifle or a handgun if we have a handgun mm -hmm. mount. So for fixed mounts, you need a tool to attach the, the mount to the rifle. This is the fixed mount. With detachable mounts, you can do it this with your bare hands. Like this, you have some kind of uh, levers on the mount itself. And you can do this with your bare hands. Mm -hmm. So you can detach uh, the mount and reattach it with the use of bare hands. But detachable mounts usually don't hold zero completely. So that means if you have rings like this, or like this, when you remove, it, remove them from a, from a rifle, when, we, when you detach the scope from a rifle and then put it back on, you have a little bit of a shift on mm -hmm. point of impact. Uh, in our experience, like with, uh, with this type of uh, detachable mounts, you have a shift up to 10 centimeters or 100 meters. Now, I so, presume this is basically because you don't, you don't always use the same clamping force. Yeah, when so you like the applied torque, differs mm -hmm. and also the tolerances on this uh, on this rings are a little bit uh, wider then you have a uh, repeatable mounts they're also detachable but they are a subgroup of detachable mounts those are mounts that have a mechanism for clamping uh, on the base or in this case this is a mount for blazer directly on the on the barrel which is sophisticated enough that it always clamps the same so that means that you always have a complete repeatability. That means when you detach your scope from a rifle and then put it back on and you shoot, you have the same point of impact. You don't need to re-zero your rifle, uh, your scope. And with repeatable mounts, we have like mounts for blazer. Uh, then we have uh, uh, this one is... I think uh, it's for CZ. Yeah, for CZ 550, yeah, for the Czech rifle. This one is for uh, Picatinny. Yes. This one is for Picatinny rail, and this is Henneberger Swift mount. And then we have pivot mounts, which are, which are also always repeatable. Pivot mounts are always 100% repeatable. And they're all detachable, but they are far more sophisticated than normal basic detachable mounts. And they, this is the reason why they feature 100% repeatability. So basically only these repeatable detachable mounts have uh, hold zero, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Only repeatable mounts hold zero, detachable are are, you're able to detach them with your bare hands. You don't need any any tools and fixed mounts You need tools to attach them to the rifle or or mm -hmm. uh, Or reattach them back to the rifle. You need tools to remove them and put them back on uh, What would you say uh, we have as we mentioned three types of different mounts here? What would you, what would you say is the basic? Uh, advantage or and disadvantage with disadvantage of, uh, each, of, group. of each group. Yes. Well, the the biggest advantage of fixed mounts is the price they're mm -hmm. usually uh, affordable compared to to the detachable and repeatable so the price is one advantage the other advantage is that they are really really reliable if you have let's say a monoblock like this uh tactical monoblock with four screws for uh, attaching the monoblock to the rail and so on this is really really reliable robust it's it's also very basic it's not uh, you know, we know that with sophisticated uh, mechanisms there is always a chance that something goes wrong mm -hmm. with fixed mount there is no chance like this you just have to apply the appropriate torque and that's it uh, so they are really easy to use easy to mount very reliable and affordable with detachable mounts this is um, they are also I would say less complicated than repeatable but they offer the possibility that you can remove the scope from your rifle during transport 
or in some special situations but it's not meant that you you have multiple scopes on, mm -hmm. on this detachable uh, mounts and then just uh, switch between them because you will always need to re-zero but let's say if you're going on a, on a trip you can you can remove the scope from the rifle and then when you come to um, to a shooting range or a hunting, a hunting place somewhere you just reattach do a couple of test shots do a small correction on zero to re-zero and and you're ready to go mm -hmm. so they are they are enabling easy transportation uh, they're also not more than usually not more than 30 percent more expensive than fixed mounts in some cases only 10 percent more expensive mm -hmm. let's say if you have these rings and these rings they're very very similar similar they're practically the same the only difference is this one has a normal screw so it's a fixed option this one has a lever for uh, so that you can uh, loosen the screw with your hands and the, the difference in price between those two is only 10 euros or yeah, something, something like that or 15 euros basically so, this is varies from manufacturer to manufacturer yeah but the price difference doesn't go over 30% huh? with repeatable mounts they're expensive they're expensive they're all they, they start at around 250 euros and up while we know that fixed mounts they start at 70 euros already mm -hmm. um, but what repeatable mounts enable you is that you use multiple scopes on one rifle so you can have a scope for driven hunts you can have a scope for a low light use and you can have a scope for stocking you can additionally have a red dot everything on one single rifle you only need different mounts all need to be repeatable and you only zero all these optics at once mm -hmm. and then you normally just shoot whatever you wish with any optic you wish you can always switch between different optics for different situations uh, the disadvantage of repeatable mounts is normally the price they're really expensive if you look at let's say blaster mounts they're almost 500 euros if you look at mounts for uh, for Zoller 404 the, um, how this uh, it's scope universal mount SUM yes, uh, something like that it's also around 500 euros if you look for repeatable mounts for uh, for Mauser uh, M03, again, we are almost at 500 euros. Uh -huh. uh, if we look at uh, pivot mounts, which are very, very popular with hunters because they're so easy to use, you just clamp, and mm -hmm. it's, they're really easy to use and they're always 100% repeatable. They also start, let's say this Rusan, they start at 250 euros, yes, yes. roughly, but uh, Ernest Apple mounts, which are the best among uh, pivot mounts or at least one of the best uh, they also go above uh, 500 euros mark mm. they have for them their magnum version it's around 550 euros so they are really expensive but they give you the opportunity to use multiple optics on one rifle which is which is great because you can have one rifle which you're used to used to trigger and everything and you're able to use different optics for different types of hunts mm -hmm. uh, so you have reliab uh, reliability here, you have versatility here, and here you have only, I would say, possibility of a little bit easier transport mm -hmm. of your rifle and, and the scope if you wish to, to uh, disconnect them yes. and to transport them in two parts. Uh, I presume that uh, pivot mounts and these repeatable detachable mounts are not um, perhaps as common as the fixed no, mounts. No, fixed mounts, if you look globally, are the most common type of mounts however in Europe these repeatable mounts are also extremely popular uh, popular and a lot of hunters use them mm -hmm. the detachable normal detachable mounts are I would say somewhere in between but uh, also not so common so it's mostly either fixed or repeatable these are the two choices most of the people make yeah, I think that manufacturers nowadays go um, go for the solution of mount uh, in terms of mounting that the hunter or a user can mount different optics on different rifles yeah. without without the change of mount. It's becoming more and more, uh, I would say, common for people to have at least two scopes mm. for one rifle, yeah. to have one wide-angle scope and one for low light and longer shots. I will also say that these detachable mounts are more or less suitable only for sport shooters which go from competition to competition and sometimes because we know that uh, for target shooting you have rifles which are really very really heavy mm -hmm. 
and it's easier to transport them without the scopes because the scopes are also very heavy with a high magnification and then always on every competition you have a couple of test shots where you can do a small adjustments of zero mm -hmm. and so it's not a big problem if you lose a little bit of zero uh, but if you're not completely off the target with these detachable mounts okay but it at the end, it's either fixed or repeatable. Mm -hmm. So this is a really 90 compensation of between the two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank um, you very much, Philo. Uh, I, I did. I think we forgot something. Okay. Type of mounts, uh, because this is a feature of mount. It can be repeatable. It can be detachable, only detachable, or it can be fixed. All type of mounts can have these features. You can have mounts for rail mm -hmm. scopes, for ring mounts. You can have uh, red dot mounts. They can all be in either in any of these groups mm -hmm. so all types of mounts all categories of mounts can always be either repeatable either detachable or fixed so it's not it, this is not limited to one group of mounts only so this goes both for two-piece mounts one-piece mounts yeah. ring mounts scope rail mounts for all categories and all type of mounts you can always have a feature to that it's either fixed or uh, detachable or repeatable. Okay, yeah. I think this is about it. No, no, we covered everything, I think. Okay, yeah. if you still have any additional questions regarding this uh, certain topic, feel free to write us, uh, write us an email or uh, simply subscribe to our channel and uh, don't forget to leave a comment below. Take care, until next time. Bye.